Hacienda. Gwendy Belindi here. This is uh, Wendy Child's cousin. And today we're making focaccia. Here are our ingredients. They're all, all very simple. Here we have three and three quarters cup of flour, two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast, and the rest of the ingredients are to taste. We've got Italian seasoning, olive oil, garlic, rosemary salt, and garlic. Each bowl here holds about three tablespoons, but we're going to use what we want. Now don't forget like we did, we got to have sugar to activate the yeast and about uh, one and a quarter cup and a quarter of warm water and stir it all together. Mm. Entonces vamos a añadir la harina y mezcla con tus manos. Mezclar. Mezclar. And for those of us who speak English, we're going to add the flour to our yeast mixture. We're also adding the olive oil and we're going to incorporate it to make sure all of the dry flour becomes wet. Yeah, and you gotta stick your hands in there and we're gonna start kneading. If you find the flour is sticking, dame un squeezy of olive oil. See. Si. Like that. Now once your dough looks shiny and sweaty like this, you can go ahead and put it to bed in a warm spot. We're gonna use the wood stove. So two hours and five minutes later, here's our dough, beautifully risen. We're going to gently remove it from its container using olive oil as needed and dump it onto our clean work surface. We're going to stretch and fold our spices like so. And don't be afraid to really get in there because we're going to give it another brief rest period so that it can bounce back before going in the oven. So you're going to transfer your dough into a well-oiled Pyrex pan and stretch it into the corners. So now we'll add the seasonings and we've got our oil and a bowl of cold water at the ready if we need to so that our fingers don't stick to the dough. That is a seasoned salt. We got a little more Italian seasoning. And the garlic. And so as we're sprinkling it, we're also dimpling it to get the garlic smushed in there. And this will also give the focaccia its characteristic dimples. Be generous with the garlic. This is vampire proofing your house. And your food. After 32 minutes in the oven, our focaccia is ready. And look how beautifully it slides out of the pan. Oh yeah. Now we do this so that we don't continue to cook it. So as I was saying, this is delicious with a little extra olive oil. Uh, we got a plate of olive oil here, just fantastic. Mmm. Yeah. Why don't you just put some more black pepper on that oil? Um. The Italian seasoning was just regular McCormick grocery store Italian seasoning, just perfect. Very good on that. Uh. Wendy is putting some andouille uh, sausage on hers. This is a perfect use for it. It's absolutely delicious. I love these chunks of garlic in there. Of course, what's not to like about garlic? That's olive oil on this plate, by the way. Mmm. This is just gorgeous. And of course, I hope you get this. We've got some Chianti here. Perfect. Sorry, Chef. Huh. Thanks for watching, people. This is Wendy's Focaccia. Now we can hit the red button. Yeah. The truth behind the bread. That's right. 
because it's full of lies. That's right. We're doing nothing but lying right now. <laughs> now that's Italian. <laughs> See how official she looks? Yes. Oh, that's point big. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Testing. I'm an Aquarius. <laughs> yeah, smack it around. Who's your daddy? Hola y bienvenidos a la hacienda. Just drop off the key, leave. And get yourself free. We are, uh. Oh, uh, ooh, nice burp. After 30 minutes in the oven, our beautiful focaccia is ready. Oh, I lied. Take two. And action. After 22 minutes in the oven, our focaccia. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> Take three. <laughs> and action! After 32 minutes! Ooh, yeah, show that again. Are we on? Oh yeah, we're on. We're on like Donkey Kong. That must be good. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Okay.